Well, local homeless ministries can resume in construction after a little bit of a delay. Yeah, the Kingsport Homeless Ministry is close to opening after years of work. News Channel 11's Katherine Simpson spoke with members of the ministry today. Now, Katherine, tell us, what did you find out? Sarah Ansley, Kingsport Homeless Ministry leaders say they faced obstacles finding a building and delays in construction. They say despite the difficulty, opening the shelter couldn't come at a better time. My fear is, is that the perfect storm is starting to happen. Kingsport Homeless Ministry Board President Bobby Flower says the opening date for their Kingsport shelter can't come soon enough. You have landlords who are selling properties, who are selling entire apartment complexes and moving the people out, doubling the rent, you know, and it's people can't afford it. According to the most recent point in time count, Kingsport has 104 unhoused individuals. But between the Salvation Army and Hope Haven Shelter, the city only has 54 shelter beds. We certainly do need another shelter in the area. There's only us. We're the only co-ed co shelter right now. When it opens, the shelter will have room for 20 men and 20 women, nearly doubling the supply of shelter beds in the city. But it'll do more than serve as just a place to shower and sleep. The shelter's day center is open and already providing case management services. Flower says they've already made arrangements with King University and ETSU to staff the building with social work students. And they're working to bring more services online. We don't want it just to be another band-aid. We're really, really blessed that Lincoln Memorial University is going to put in a five chair dental facility in the building, which is a horribly big need here in town. Flowers also highlighted partnerships with local organizations like TCAT and Habitat for Humanity who have helped them during renovations. Sarah. Catherine, thanks. Now the shelter does not have a specific opening date just yet, but Flowers said it will open by the end of the year.